ambitious woman gets embroiled with a Thakur family who rule Begusarai through bloodshed. Her ambitions and dreams are crushed due to the violence which ensues, but she pulls through it. Begusarai on Z1 Full Story Summary. Subscribe to our channel for daily videos on your favorite series on your favorite channel. Blaster Series, your world of telenovela updates. Intelligent, Poonam Kumari dreams of higher studies. Her childhood best friend Priyom is the son of Bigasarai's Bahubali Fulan Thakur, whose nephew Lakan has loved Poonam since childhood. Fulan sets her marriage with Lakan who starts torturing Poonam. Breaking the alliance, Fulan fixes Poonam's wedding to Priyom and they fall in love. Lakan wreaks havoc on Bigasarai and Thakur family. Poonam decides to marry him, so he will leave Thakur, his family, alone. Bindiya, a dancer enters Bigasarai to make money by dancing in events. She wants to ruin the Thakurs as her father was the former king of Bigasarai whom Filan killed, bringing Bindiya and her mother on road, and thus becoming the king himself. Once Lakan and Poonam marry, he again tortures her. Poonam learns about Lakan's love for her and how he never hurt anyone when trying to woo her, she starts to like him and turns him into a soft person, and they get close. Priyom constantly gets mad at Bindiya's antics and tries to change her. Gudi is pregnant with the child of Poonam's brother, who dies in an accident. For this, Poonam blames Lakan, and they get separated. Bindiya and Priyom fall in love, he becomes the Bahubali of Bigasarai. Priyom tries to stop Mitilesh from killing a cheater business partner, but ends up being collateral and dies at his hands. Bindiya swears vengeance on Mitilesh. The entire family opposes her, except for Poonam and Lakan. When she decides to file a case against Mitilesh but loses when Badi Amma locks Poonam in the supply closet. Duttaji gets out of jail and comes back. Into the Thakur Havli. He strips Bindiya in front of the entire Bigasarai and drowns her alive. Lakan and Poonam try to save her but are not able to. He also tries to kill Gudi and her child, but Poonam and Lakan save her. Poonam and Lakan finally reveal their feelings for each other and start a new relationship. Bindiya is revealed to be alive and comes back to get revenge against the entire Thakur family for not coming to save her. She gives mercy to Lakan and Poonam but tortures the rest of the family members and even kills Duttaji. Shodi Amma's granddaughter, Komal, comes to visit her while Bindiya becomes the Bahubali of Bigasarai. Komal starts to fall in love with Lakan and starts to help Bindiya financially by bringing her a Sarkar business partner. Sarkar demands a lot of Bindiya, which causes Gudi to lose her child, and Lakan and Poonam almost get a divorce. The Thakur family goes against Bindiya and Komal and tries to figure out who Sarkar is. Sarkar is revealed to be Shodi Amma, who wants revenge on the Thakur family and brought Komal to Thakur family. In a chase between Komal and Shodi Amma and Lakan and Mitilash, Komal's car falls off a cliff, and Shodi Amma and Komal die. Bindiya is revealed to be pregnant with Priyom's child. A couple of months later, Poonam and Mitilash's wife, Maya, have also become pregnant. When all three daughters-in-law celebrate their baby shower and do puja by the river, Gudi is pulled into the water. Everyone looks for her, but not in time, and they find her dead body. It is revealed that Komal is alive and killed. Gutty. Komal then kidnaps Mitilesh and Poonam's father in demand that Poonam leaves Lakan. Mitilesh and Poonam's father tries to run away, but Poonam's father dies in the ensuing chase. Poonam decides to surrender herself for the safety of the Thakur family. Lakan finds Poonam and Komal and shoots Komal in the chest. Poonam falls unconscious, and Lakan takes her to the hospital. At the hospital, some goons kidnap Poonam and it is revealed that Komal was saved after she got shot. Komal shoots Mitilesh and Lakan, and Poonam dies during childbirth. Bindiya takes the baby and decides to raise him as her own. Twenty years later, Bindiya has become Mothakaran and takes care of Mitilesh and Maya's children, Soni, Adarsh, Amar, and Samar, her and Priyom's son, Garv, and Poonam and Lakan's son, Shakti, who looks like Lakan. Bindiya hates women because of what Komal did to the family. The entire family is scared of her and never does anything she does not like. All the boys are like goons and do everything for Bindiya. Everyone calls her mom, and Maya gets jealous that her kids do not consider her their real mother. The show then brings in Ananya Mishra, the daughter of Ramakant Mishra, a constable who is transferred to Bigasarai. 
Ananya has an older good for nothing brother named Mayank, who is online chatting with Sony. Ananya and Shakti first meet when Shakti saves Ramakant from some goons. He asks for money, but since she has none, he takes her late mother's necklace. She gets it back but also learns he is petrified of his mom. They have funny interactions. Going on. Mayank and Sony meet secretly, but someone sees them and tells Mothakaran. She plans to get Sony married within three days. When Mayank hears of this, he tries to commit suicide. When Ananya finds out the reason behind the suicide, she decides to let Sony and Mayank meet for one last time. But Mayank cheats on Ananya and runs away with Sony. When the five brothers find out Ananya helped Sony get out, they kidnap her and torture them to find out where Sony and Mayank went. When Ananya gets free, through the help of the police, the police arrest Mothakaran and the brothers decide to get revenge. Mothakaran gets out of jail, and Sony and Mayank return to Badi Havli. Mothakaran decides to allow Sony and Mayank's marriage, but they live in their house under Mayank's condition. She asks Shakti to make Ananya fall in love with him, and then she will marry all of her sons. Ananya falls in love with Shakti, and Bindiya manages to get her married to all of the sons without interference. When Ananya learns the truth about her sham marriage, she decides to take revenge on the Thakur family and change them for the better. She does not let herself have any relations with the brothers and learns the oldest, Adarsh, is secretly married and is about to have his child. She can get Adarsh's wife her rights in the house, and Shakti falls in love with Ananya. Bindiya changes back into her former self when Badi Amma tells her she acted precisely like Dettaji. Ananya talks to Bindiya and then asks her if she can leave. Shakti asks her to stay, but she says her trust was broken, and she cannot stay. A few months later, Ananya is shown to be a teacher at a school, and Shakti shows up. He asks her to forgive him and marry him for real, and she finally forgives him. The show ends on a happy note.